On today's ProPresenter show brought to you by ChurchTechU.com, why your letters have horns and how to fix them. Hi, I'm Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com, where you can find hours of church tech tutorials, just like this one, courses, and my exclusive community, ChurchTechU.com, because ministry loves company. Most of the time, we can be pretty rational. Read some C.S. Lewis or William Craig Lane if you don't believe me. Sometimes, though, it might seem like the devil is not only in the details, but also in your tech. This might seem like one of those times, but it's not true. There really is a good explanation for why your lyrics sometimes have horns and sometimes don't. So let me show you how it happens and how to fix it. This is one that I hear from time to time, and I thought that I'd just go through some of the causes and some of the solutions. So you'll notice right over here, I've got little horns on some of my letters. You'll notice that it's the letters that have the angles here, like the W and the V, for example. But not O's, not D's, not L's, none of those letters, just the V and the W have this problem. So first off, let me show you a quick way to fix it in case that's all you need. Uh, instead of Helvetica, try changing that. Here, let me select this. Try changing Helvetica to Helvetica New. And now when I click Show, look, it goes away. That's because the, the angles are a little bit different here. And so that's what's causing that. So. Actually, if we go into, if I first off change this back, change it back to bold so that you can see that. Okay, now if I go into the Telestrator mode, just hit Control T for Telestrator, and I'm going to point out something. So if I go down here, you'll notice that's right in line with the angles of these. So that's the cause, is as the angles continue on down here, they cause these little horns to show up. Again, same thing here, that uh, it's right in line. So it's the way the specific font is made but let's say that uh, for some reason you're just not a big fan of, uh, here, let me clear that out real quick. Let's say that you're not a fan of Helvetica New, which is one way to fix this. Another way to fix it is you'll notice that we've got a really thick outline here. Now, Part of why I put this white background is just to show this so that it didn't get lost in a more busy background. So it is possible that if you've got a motion background or uh, another background, then maybe you wouldn't even notice it. But the other way that I would do it is, again, select all this. And what you want to do is you want to change the outline. I believe it was at 5 that that showed up. So now I get rid of that and look, same font, we're still in Helvetica Bold and once we're in Helvetica Bold we do not have the problem that the little horns are showing up because I just made the outline a little bit smaller. Let's see when it starts to show up. So you can start to see it at 5 at a size of 141. So just experiment, see if you can knock down the outline just a little bit, see if 
there's a similar font that doesn't have that problem and you can make the little horns go away just by changing the font or changing the weight of the outline. See the subtle difference font choices and how big your outlines are can make? Sometimes you'll have to make compromises to keep your lyrics from looking devilish, but at least you know why and when now. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon on YouTube to make sure you hear all about my videos when they come out. If you'd like to take one of my ProPresenter mini courses for free, go to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number six, mini, M-I-N-I, and sign up for the mini course of your choice for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com. Go out and change eternity.